Welcome to the second in a series of tutorials designed to enable you to use the Queensland Globe with confidence. This tutorial will provide you with information on how to add data to the map with the Topics and Layers panels, as well as perform searches for specific locations. The learning outcomes from this tutorial are adding data to the map, performing searches, managing your data layers, one way you can add data layers is through topics. These are groups of layers that fall within a particular theme. Click to open the Topics panel. From this panel, you can see all topics at once, or you can click to view topics by theme. The default topic is turned on when we start the Queensland Globe and is highlighted. The main menu displays a quick summary and gives you the option to add a topic to favourites or use quick launch. Topics you have saved as favourites will be displayed in the featured area. Click to view more information about a topic, including which layers are contained within it. You can choose to launch the topic and open it within your Queensland Globe session. Two options will be displayed, Add to Globe or Replace the current topic you have open. The number of open layers indicated on the Layers button will change as the topic is added to the map. Searching within the Queensland Globe provides access to a range of options to find the locations of a variety of features. We can search by street address. This will search through Queensland's primary source of address information and can be used to validate addresses. Searching by lot and plan will reference Queensland's primary source of property information returning the property boundary location on the map. Choose to search by locality or suburb within a local government area and the boundary will highlight. The Features of Queensland provides locations of features in a variety of layers. Examples include registered groundwater bores, survey control marks and more. If you have access to coordinate reference points, you can search by entering longitude and latitude values, or alternatively search by Map Grid of Australia. You can save and work with your search results by clicking to add these to places. More detail about querying data and places is covered in an upcoming tutorial. Layers is another way we can add data to the map. Click to open the Layers panel. The data layers you currently have open will be displayed. Whether a layer is visible within your map window is indicated by the eye symbol. Where the symbol is blue, it means the layer is currently visible in your map. A grey eye symbol means the layer is not visible at that map scale. You will need to zoom in or zoom out. A grey eye symbol with a line through it means that the layer has been turned off. You can click on the symbol to make the layer visible again. Choosing to edit layers will allow you to customise these data layers further. You can remove layers all at once or individually. Choosing to cancel will make no changes to your setup. Select Done to save any changes made and return to the Layers panel. If you are looking for a particular data layer, click Add Layers to open a new panel with data layers grouped into categories. More detail is available via the information button. 
Clicking in the checkbox beside the category name will add all data layers to your map window. Alternatively, click to expand and individually select data layers you wish to visualise. If you aren't sure which category a data layer belongs in, choose to filter layers by name. Enter your search term and click the filter search button. As before, you can select from this list the data layers you want to visualise. When you have finished your selection, choose to remove your search and you will be returned to the main panel. Click on the back arrow to see the new data layers you have just added. Further filtering options are available through Filter Layers and All Layers for the data layers you have just added. At the bottom of your Layers panel is an option to add data from external sources. You can add your own data in a variety of formats, or you can reference data layers provided through a web map service. More detail about file types and limits is provided in Help. To add such data, easily drag and drop directly or choose to browse to the file location of your data. A space is also provided to enter the URL if adding a web map service. Choosing to add files to the globe will display the data layers within your map window and update the layers panel. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on the Queensland Globe. If you need further assistance, please have a look at the other tutorials in this series, check the in-depth guide on our help page, or email OpenData.